Something strange and interesting is happening on the harmonic tremors of the Grindavik area. We are seeing a sudden rise in the blue line, which is the tectonic tremors. This is related to the earthquakes created when the blocks of the rock move. This is the extension. We have a rift valley there. Both sides of the rift valley are moving away from each other. This creates these earthquakes. The ground is opening up. It's nothing to do with the storm. We don't see the similar pattern for the Grimsfield, which is not uh, far away from there. What we are seeing is a fair weather. It's nothing like a stormy weather. It's above 1,000. All the lines of the air pressure are above 1,000. There is no storm visible in the horizon. We don't see it there. But we see earthquakes. Early morning, we saw that. In the midday, we saw another cluster of it. When we plot them on the map, these are the pattern we get. All along the line, with the boundary of the plates between the Eurasian plate and the North American plate, you can see it there. And the ones that are under that line are related to mostly to the tectonic plate. There are those ones close to the line are related to the eruption of the Sundunka crater chain. That's my idea. That's how do I understand it. This is the Grindovic Rift Valley, simple basin and range system with two fault lines, major fault lines controlling this. We have many inside it. When the extension happens, what is happening is like a tsunami opening up the ocean. Suddenly you will see a recession of the magma. The magma receipt sinks because of this extension. And we are seeing it on the cameras. This is the early down after the midnight. This is the early morning and later you see the midday and afternoon not much activity is going on magma has receded probably going down what we are seeing in the gps data which shows the swelling up of the ground in the sword sink is interesting the swelling of the ground is now almost flattened what that means is that the entry of the magma and exit of it are equal that's the reason the line doesn't show any rise in the ground what is happening is that the earthquakes causing the ground to open up and open the way for the magma but initially what is present there sinks and then what is coming will rise and when the magma arrives there what causes is that what is inside the earth comes above it the magma comes above and the land sinks something like what we saw in the Fegadestrial volcano or in the K1 this is the name I've given to the last remaining of the Sundunka crater chain this will create a flood of the lava which may end up this time overwhelming the L12 defense wall of the Grindovic or moving toward the sea. And that is the reason we say that we will have intensified eruption.